What's up makers, April Dunham here. In this Thursday quick tip video, I'm going to share with you some brand new functionality for SharePoint forms. I'm sure those of you who watched some of my videos know that I'm a huge fan of SharePoint list formatting. Well, I'm happy to tell you now we can use SharePoint list formatting to customize your SharePoint forms. I'll walk you through how it's done after this. So first things first, before I get started here, the functionality that I'm going to show is currently being rolled out into first release tenants. So if you're not seeing these options in your tenant quite yet, just be patient because this should be arriving to all tenants soon. So to show how this works, I'm going to go into our Office 365 portal here and we'll go into the Microsoft List application. And I've created a new list in Microsoft List by going to this new list button and I've chose this Asset Manager template. Now, if we want to apply this JSON type formatting to our forms, what you'll need to do is click on the new button as if you were going to add a new item into this list. And you should be able to tell here that this looks quite a bit different than a out of the box Microsoft list form does. We have different headers in sections for our information. And even down below, we have a link that takes us to a help desk. So to apply this JSON type formatting, what you'll do is you'll click on this little pencil icon in the upper right hand corner. And you'll see an option here for configure layout. So as I said, this is just like the current column and list formatting functionality. You'll get a box here where you can paste in some JSON code. But one of the first things to point out here is at the very top in this dropdown, you see we can choose where to apply this formatting to. So we can add formatting into the header, which is what you see here. We have an icon and status with a colon. We can apply it to the footer, which if I scroll down, that's what we're seeing here with the hyperlink. And then we can apply it to the body, which, which is of course everything in between where we would enter in our form information. Before I dive into the JSON a bit more and explain that, first I wanted to go over what some good use cases for using this JSON formatting for your SharePoint forms rather than say customizing it with Power Apps. This JSON formatting is not going to be your end all beat all. It's going to be good for some simple scenarios, really kind of what I'm showing here. So say you have your form in SharePoint and maybe you want it to be two or three columns instead of one column. Or maybe you want to break out your form into different sections to make it a little bit easier to fill out and to see. Or maybe you just need a header and footer in your form to add a little bit additional information. All of those are great use cases for using this new JSON formatting functionality. But if you need to do more complex things like conditional formatting and showing or hiding different fields, or any other really complex logic beyond that, then you'll probably want to use the Power Apps customization route still. So let's take a look at some of the JSON pieces that we have here implemented and explain that a bit. And I'm going to start here with the header. For the header, I've kept it pretty simple. In the JSON, all we're really doing is we're pulling in a logo. And if we scroll down a bit, in my case, I wanted to highlight the status of this particular asset so I could easily see for existing items that are in there if it's checked out or if it's available. So I just have the text status and I'm pulling in the status field from my asset list. These JSON samples that I'm showing you today, I will put in my GitHub so that you can copy these and paste these into your own Microsoft list and kind of see how it's done. So if you wanted to use this, for example, on one of your Microsoft lists, you could just copy this JSON from my GitHub, click on new, click on the pencil on the upper right hand side, configure layout, select where you want to apply the formatting to. So in this case, it would be the header, paste that in and click save. So right now it's not showing anything because I don't have a status filled out in this new item form. But if I close out of this and go into an item that's already in the list and click to edit that, now the status will show up at the top, letting me know easily that this particular asset is available. And that's another important thing to know when you do choose to customize your forms with this new formatting option, it will apply to all of the forms. So your new form, your edit and your view. And you'll also notice I'm in the edit form view and I don't have that customize forms option here. That's only going to show up when you click the new button. Switching back over here to Visual Studio Code, I have pulled up now the footer JSON that I'm using. This one is also very simple. I'm just demonstrating how you can do a simple footer with a hyperlink. So sometimes in your form, you might want a place where you can direct users to somewhere where they can get more information or get help. 
So that's what I'm demonstrating here. We're using an A tag so that we can have a hyperlink. And I'm actually showing how you can go directly to a Teams chat with this formatted URL. Same concept here. We would just select the footer option from the dropdown, paste that code into there, click Save. And now a hyperlink shows up here. And if I click that, that's going to launch Microsoft Teams and take me to a Teams call. And last but not least, let's take a look at how I formatted the body of this particular form. So as I said, this is mostly going to be useful where you want to break apart your forms into different sections with headers and maybe multi-column layouts. So I'm demonstrating how you can break these out in sections with this particular sample we're seeing here. So we have our sections property here. Then in the display name is where you can give your section headers a name. Then you would have a property for fields and within here you would define which field should show up in this particular section. So looking down below, I have a section called asset details and I'm specifying all of the asset detail fields that are in this particular Microsoft list template that should show in this section. And then I have a final section called purchase and checkout history. And this one, you'll notice that I only have purchase date. So it's kind of smart enough to know that it's going to loop in all the other remaining columns in your form in your last section that you have defined here. So that's really all there is to it. So how that particular piece of JSON translates into the form itself. We have this section up here that doesn't have a header, just a status, so that we can easily set the status for this particular item. We have all of our asset details broken out into this header where we can quickly see all the relevant information as far as the serial number, manufacturer, and all that. And then below, group nicely, we have our purchase and checkout history of the purchase price and the date and who has it checked out. Because this functionality is so new, I don't think there are a lot of samples out there quite yet on formatting your forms, but hopefully this will give you a good start. So again, I'll have the link to these JSON files in my GitHub in the video notes below. I hope this provided you with a way to get started and some inspiration on how you could use this in your SharePoint forms. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you in the next video.